Dave, it's time to start the show. And as you know, we always ask you a trivia question. Trivia question either about the show that you were on or just a simple trivia question that you should probably know the answer to. About You missed all kinds of them. Remember when you missed uh, what was 11 times 11? You remember that one? I do. Anyway, uh, Dave, uh, here is your trivia question at the beginning of the show. Dave, uh, Rachel has an advanced degree. Okay, our our producer has an advanced degree. You've known we have her for a producer? years. Uh huh. What does LMSW stand for? Uh, LMSW, uh, legally modified uh, subtopian wobbler. Are you serious? Your friend Rachel, you don't uh, know what her degree is in. I thought it, I thought her I thought she was um. Uh, uh, like a green belt in karate. Do you? I mean, you, are you serious? You don't know real for real? Did? Great. Okay, uh, let's just start, start with the show. Uh, we'll see what happens later on in with your relationship with Rachel. Six Welcome to Six Unseemly Questions. I'm your host, Victor Varnado. This is my sidekick, oh, oh. Dave Rosinski. Uh, we've got a great contestant on the show today. Everybody, put your hands together for Zara Nurbash. Hey! Did I say it right? Welcome. Close. Nurbash. Nobody says it right except my grandma. Oh, well, I'm trying. How does she say it? Good enough. <laughs> good enough. I said it. it. Good enough. <laughs> People are always good enough with my name, too. Varnado. Often, I thought it often was pronounced they... Varnatal. <laughs> That's what I thought. Uh, great. Uh, on the uh, show, uh, we also have a studio audience. Uh, put your hands together for Yogi Polywall and Rachel Teichman, hey. our studio audience for right. today. Hello, everybody. Right. How's Hello. it going? Okay, so I'm going to explain how the show works and we're going to get started. What I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you six unseemly questions. At the end of each question, I will ring a bell if I like your answer like this. However, if I do not like your answer, I will not ring the bell and I'll tell you why. Regardless of how many bells you get, at the end of the show, we'll decide whether or not you get five whole dollars for your appearance on the show. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, here we go. Question Good number answer. one. Question number one. Are we living in a simulation? No. Um, what, how, okay. did, how did you come about that answer? <laughs> because it sucks too much. Because <laughs> it, it sucks? Well, you know, that's funny. Do you remember in the first Matrix movie when they were like, we made a utopia at first, but it had to suck for people to accept this simulation? Okay, yeah, but... Okay, the Obama years were at the level of like it's not ice cream, it's frozen yogurt. All right. Uh huh. But but this is like either system malfunction or it's just real. I think that this is this I, the way the world is right now kind of feels like just before zombies come. You know, like right <laughs> yeah, exactly. before the first zombie shows up. That's the way I feel yep. about us right now. Like, if it was a simulation, it would just randomly get much better. And that would be like the reboot, and they would just be like, plow on forward. But like, this is, this feels like things that are broken. This is like system right. overload, right? Yeah. That's what I mean. It's just all too terrible to not be organic, you know? All right. I will say, no bell on that question, and I'll tell you why. Because oh. I am not convinced. You know what? You sound like you a either. person who's been living in a simulation. I do? How would you know that? Because why is it my job to convince you? In real organic yeah. life, it's just what know, it is. Right? It doesn't well, I mean, matter. I'm not true. saying it's your job He's to totally in me. the Matrix. He's in the Matrix, and he knows it. And we all know I'm, it. Thank you for bringing I'm, that up. I'm not saying it's your job to convince me. I'm just saying I'm not convinced. That's all. You know Uh, what? And we're not convinced about you either. Because Dave and I know that we're not living in a simulation. Now you and Dave are a team. You're allowed to to not be convinced. You're allowed to not be convinced, man. Great. Yeah, have fun in your little matrix. (laughs) All right. Uh, Thank you, Dave, for your crazy yelling. All right, it is uh, time for question number two, but before we do that, can you tell people out there what you do? All right, no bell, okay. I am a comedian, a podcaster, and a coach, and a citizen of the United States. You're an excellent comedian. Of Uh, America? Rachel, 
Yes, yes. of America. Rachel and I actually had a uh, conversation about you recently because we talked hey. about how funny you were. It's true. Oh, <laughs> it is true. We did talk about how funny you were. Um, okay, I won't quit. <laughs> which which side do you think each of us were on? I'm just kidding. We were both. We both thought you were funny. All right. <laughs> it, is, it is now. Where's my bell? It is, you didn't get. You did not get a bell. All right, uh, Mike Cannon, uh, you you're here. Thank you for showing up. Thanks for having me. Late. All right, everybody, <laughs> Mike Cannon. Uh, okay, so uh, we're now we're moving on to question number two for you, Zara. Question number two. Here it is. All right. When was the last time you witnessed something heroic? Oh, yesterday. Okay. Yesterday, my dog went for a treat is this a hero dog story he let the puppy have the treat instead of him he's a hero Mm -hmm. he went for a treat and then he let the puppy was is it his puppy or is it a puppy he treats our new puppy like it's his puppy we're Ah. training a new puppy we got a new puppy he's a little cockapoo fella and uh he loves he's adorable except that he's a piranha to our toes and mm-hmm. we gave him a treat for being, we gave him both treats for being good. And he let the puppy have his treat. He let the puppy That dog is a hero. <laughs> you know, you know what? Dave just gets Here we me. go. I'm going to say bell on that question. I'll tell you why. I also believe that dog is a hero. That was an adorable story. Okay. I mean, I'm not a complete. <laughs> all right. That was an adorable story. Okay, that dog is a hero. Time for question number three. Question number three. What is your favorite fluid? It is I was gonna (laughs) say something else. I was gonna say anything else. But I am an idiot comedian. It's All right. All right. <laughs> All right, it uh, apparently it's. I hate myself. All right, I hate um, myself. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say no bell. What? Okay, I'm gonna say no bell because you had a song already for it. I I absolutely understand that, but I I you know is not my favorite fluid, and it's and not so, mine either. But because you we don't appreciate agree. her. It's the it. wrong answer. It's I'm the not wrong. Saying, well, I'm not saying it's not great. It's, I'm not saying it is, it's not great. It is a first year comedian's answer. What am I doing? What is COVID? What are you talking? You're not a first year comedian. What are you saying? I know. I know. I'm, I'm second year okay. life insurance right. right now. Okay, so you you agree that they should not get a bell. No one should ever give a bell for. D- All right. Okay. We're in agreement. Great. Already has a bell. Ding dong. It is time to move on to question number four. <laughs> Question number four. Are things in your life getting better or worse? <laughs> it's getting better. That's good. It's getting better. <laughs> well, I mean, you, now, here's, you it's don't have temporary. to answer. You don't have to answer honestly to any question on the show. Obviously, you can answer I'm any way you want. Answering to. honestly. But do you think you it, have to you, tell us all you, the truth or else? You don't know. You don't have to tell anybody the truth. All but do you really think? Uh, this better not be truth. one lie. This is the truth because we are all moving closer to death because this is not a simulation. Uh huh. Just mm-hmm. gonna. And what's happening is we're. I'm getting older. I'm getting crotchetier. Everything's harder, and that's good. Wiser. And I'm glad. Stronger. So it is it is getting better by becoming a rougher experience. It's getting better because it's just <laughs> better. Okay. It's just better. It's just better. Where the life is what it is. This is an organic real life and it's moving forward. It is what it is. And we've decided that that's better. You yeah. seem agitated. I'm happy. <laughs> this is what I sound like when I'm happy. All right. Okay. Uh, hey. Then great. All right. Uh, great. I will say. 
I, you know, I'm going to say Bell. I'll tell you why. <laughs> because what was that? All right. Now, <laughs> it is time for question number five. Question number five, very simple. Describe your character. Lovable, TED Talk obsessed, Gemini. Lovable, TED Talk obsessed, Gemini. Well, uh, okay, so... Just give me, for each of those, give me a sentence kind of describing how that adds to your character. So like lovable first. Okay. Sentence describe that. I'm lovable because if I'm not, I just die. You would die. Yeah. Got it. That's Totally you know, makes I'm a sense. Bisexual, I'm a bisexual woman. All I need is for everyone to like me all of the time. And I want to jump everyone's bones. That's what that is. Nice. So lovable is how I lead. Got it. Very lovable. Thank okay. You. And then, <laughs> then the and uh, to TED Talk obsessed. Oh my God. I mean, TED Talks, are you kidding me? Did you know venting is bad for you? Venting? See, you like venting? <laughs> <laughs> venting, not venti. <laughs> I, when you say venting, what does that mean for a human? Okay, so on planet Earth, sometimes somebody's an <laughs> and then you just want to talk about how much of a <laughs> they are. Oh, vent. Oh, that kind of vent. Ah, I was but thinking of something like more you. physical, oh. you know? Oh, I see, I see. But <laughs> yeah, it's not good for you. No, we yeah, get it not, now. We I, don't, get it. I don't mean farts. I don't mean farts. Farts are great for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but there's also a TED Talk on that. Did you know that? There's a TED Talk Venting about farts. farts. <laughs> no, we didn't. Right. Okay. See? So TikTok obsessed. All right. And now, and then now, uh, the third one was Gemini. What are the, what's the one line the description chances? basically of how Gemini adds to your character? Okay. I don't actually believe in astrology, but whenever I say Gemini, people leave me alone. Mm. So that's like when I tell people leave you alone and then I didn't. <laughs> no, like the people, people just seem to get it. It's like, mm -hmm. oh, Twin mentality, you're always disagreeing with yourself, contradictions, you're a little bit scatterbrained. And then like mm -hmm. people are just a little less harsh with me about time and punctuality and mm -hmm. shit. So, you know, Gemini. I, I tell people my <laughs> sign is leprechaun and then nobody talks to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Dave, I don't think you're being serious at all. We're the same I sign, think... Victor. Me and you, we're a couple of leprechauns. <laughs> I think hey man, that's serious. cool. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm terrified. <laughs> All right. Uh, you know what? I'm going to say no, Bill. I'll tell you oh. why. Uh, especially, especially because you brought up Gemini and then said you don't even believe in it. So what's the point? <laughs> oh, okay. I see. Yeah, what's the it's point? not that I don't believe in it. I should specify. It's that I don't feel we should distill down people's entire personality on things they can't control because there's so much about our personalities that is in our control. Oh, it would have been so great you don't if you practice, said that earlier. You don't, you, don't, uh, you don't practice any magic at all? Oh, I absolutely <laughs> practice magic. <laughs> all right, all right uh, it is time for question number six uh let's let's tear this up question number six how are you at poker oh i suck at poker oh you do have you yeah. have you did you did you try to do you suck because you've never really taken an interest in it or did you actually try and you continue to suck i actually tried and i continue to suck oh really what was that like like how long did you try to get better at poker you mean how much money did I lose? Yeah, that's a that's great. <laughs> love it. <laughs> I lost fifty bucks, and that was all <laughs> I needed to lose ah. to go. I get you. Yeah, I I I I'm right there with you. I'm not like a real gambler person. Like if I lose like more than a hundred dollars at a casino, I'm like that is it. You know, I'm, just, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like I'm done. Yeah. And, uh, but I, I also have people in my family who are like, hey, man, send me some money. My house is going to get taken. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I know both ends. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So. All right. OK. So you 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 are not that great at poker, but you did try. But you lost 50 bucks. I'm going to say 
Mm -hmm. uh, no bell. Cause I know there's a lot of people who've lost a lot more than 50 yeah. bucks at poker who would be like, really bucks. <laughs> <laughs> like 52 bucks. That, it, that, well, that fits the answer. That's what I lost. Right I also can't, I also can't lie. Oh, that, yeah, that would be part of poker. You need to lie mm -hmm. or bluff when you're doing poker, right? Not a good bluffer. That's why I know I'm not in a simulation. Mm -hmm. You're bringing you that, keep bringing that you, up. You, it feels like I you're... just <laughs> want that first bell. Oh, well, it is impossible to I get think you got point. one. Didn't you get one? Didn't Anything's she get one? Possible. No, she meant for the first question, Dave. She wants to go back in time and like get a new uh, bell for right. that question. No, I got you. Do you notice uh, how we can't travel. go back in time? Yes. Do you notice no. how we can't? No. I do. I notice it often. <laughs> in this linear, organic life. Circular. <laughs> with hormones. <laughs> let's all just yell out one word at a time. Come on, guys. Let's go. Steroids. <laughs> okay. Leprechaun. I was kidding. I was Corn. kidding. All right, it's, time to, <laughs> it's time to decide whether or not you get $5 for your appearance on the show. Um, but before we do that, can you tell people out there where they can find you? You can find me at the address. No, <laughs> you can find me online everywhere at Zara Comedy, ZaraComedy.com, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. Come say hi. All right. Wonderful. Okay. So uh, it is now time to decide whether or not you get $5. What we usually do is canvas the room. Let's start with you, Dave. What do you think? Should Zara get $5 for her appearance on the show? I feel like the more she kept saying that we're not in a simulation, it's like, why should I believe you? You're totally like in a simulation, you know? So right there, destroyed her credibility. She's clearly in the simulation with you. So, but I, I'll still vote yes, because I feel really bad. Okay, great. <laughs> I'll take it. All right, uh, Mike, what do you think? Should Zara get $5 for her appearance on the show? I mean, not only did I agree with almost all of her answers, but okay. because I do also believe in the simulation, I think she should accept her $5 in Bitcoin. <laughs> oh, fancy. I'll take it. All right. It. <laughs> uh, he's got a little bit of advice for you, for your yeah. investments. Do you hear that? <laughs> that guy is on top of it. He knows you the word take Bitcoin. MasterCard? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he lives in a hotel. I don't That's know if right. we can trust <laughs> right. his investment advice. It's also the I'll Bitcoin hotel. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, Yogi, what do you think? Should Zara get $5 for appearance on the show? I think because of how against the simulation she is, she's confirming to us that believe it's a simulation. And for that, I think she should get the $5. Because of how negative she is to the fact that <laughs> this is all clearly not around us and real it's making me know that oh i'm definitely in a simulation so for that yes i think she should take five dollars but in turkish lira the official currency of the show <laughs> in turkish lira oh all right uh, lira. we've heard everyone's opinion except for rachel's rachel what do you think should zara get five dollars for her appearance on the show um well I guess that's going to come down to a question that I have for you, Victor, which is, do I have to censor the word? <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> Damn it. And in no. that case, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to say no. <laughs> I love yes. your song. Rachel do, oh. it does edit the show. So and every, but here's <laughs> no. the thing. I want the show to be a show where people can say whatever they want to say, and then we'll just edit it to make it like PG-13 ish. But I, I want people to be naturally funny. So this is a great answer. It was hilarious. <laughs> it, it, was, was hilarious. it was a hilarious answer. Don't worry about don't worry about Rachel. She loves editing. <laughs> what if I said man fizz? Um that would be totally fine. Acceptable. That's fine. Okay, Rachel, we've heard from they you. They say it on they say it on now the Now let's see less of you. <laughs> man fizz on kids shows. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so we've heard from everybody except for you, Zara. What do you think? Should you get five dollars for your appearance on the show? Yes, I think you should give me five bucks because I'm really bad at poker and I need it. All right. You keep saying that. I'm just trying uh, to get we that believe fifty you. back. <laughs> that was not the question. Was whether or not we should <laughs> believe what I say. I think. I think. I think. You know what? I'm. I'm going to give you five dollars for your appearance on the show. I'll tell you why. Yes. Uh, it's because. I agree with you. Get that 50 back <laughs> some way. 
So I'm giving you five dollars. Thank you for appearing on the show. It's it's great. Now all we have to do is wrap it up by asking Dave. Dave, what did you learn from this week's show? Um, we learned a lot of stuff we shouldn't be saying on the show, you know. And um, <laughs> like what? I guess we're gonna have to take those rules and write them down in a book, and uh, we're gonna have to memorize them. Great. Thank you, Dave, for that. <laughs> Everybody, check us out at Six and Seemly on all social media and unseemlyquestions.com. Star Bands Audio, a podcast network.